Hello, I'm Betsy Golterman. My father, Bob Golterman, and my mother, Marcia Golterman, started KI Industries 60 years ago. I worked in the business a long time, starting in 1985 as a sales administrator. As the years went on, my cousin, David Golterman, and I took over leadership positions, and I worked as the company's CFO, human resources director, and head of administration. We worked closely with a wonderful leadership team that grew the business from the $5 million revenue time when I started to what is now the $100 million range that we're operating in. I was there through the tough years of starting new plants, acquiring competitors, companies, and starting green fields in Mexico. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the business. The company asked if some of the Golterman family would come in and share memories and talk about our experiences in growing the business and also give some thoughts about what we see about the company's future. I'd like to start by painting a picture of what our markets look like in 1964. Our customers were the white good manufacturers, the appliance manufacturers that were making cooking appliances, laundry equipment, and refrigerators for the households that were forming in the post-war United States. These were significant purchases for their customers. These were also the days that manufacturing was thriving through the Midwest and Southern US. These companies were mostly family owned in single plant locations located in rural Iowa or in the mountains of Tennessee. Some names that still may be recognized are Caloric, Glenwood Stove, Tappan Stove, John Eyre. My father, Bob, was a classic entrepreneur. My mother, Marcia, was his best cheerleader, his right hand, and his rock. They saw a market niche and decided to start a company to fill it. Bob was 34 years old when he founded the company. He had two young children at home and my mother, who had retired from a teaching career. Before he started KI, he had two career jobs. One, he had worked in public accounting. He had a CPA license. And the other, he had worked for a trim and plastic supplier located in Decatur, Illinois. My father was a born salesman. He liked to be with people, understand their product needs, brainstorm solutions, and then see those solutions to the end. The company's orientation was about being innovative in its design, its finishes, and its processes. At the beginning, we weren't the only manufacturing company supplying knobs, but we're the one that saw the opportunity to put some pizzazz, some decoration, to combine metals and plastics together to really bejewel and dazzle the mechanical controls on, on an appliance. My mother and father took things on one thing at a time. They established relationships with suppliers that provided the molded and decorative pieces to put the knobs together. They started a, a factory on Southport Avenue in Chicago to assemble and ship product from. They branched out into selling spun aluminum knob products that were manufactured in Germany. These were sold into the growing audio business in the US. They purchased a Milwaukee plastics molding company and then sold it after recognizing that it was not a good fit. They were on the cutting edge of sourcing product in Taiwan at a time 
when Taiwan was newly independent from China and just starting to trade with the U.S. It was in these years, the 1970s, that my Uncle Carl came to work with my father, and the two together provided the skill set and leadership that really was the foundation for the company's growth. It was also during this time that the distinguishing characteristics and the guiding beliefs of the company were formed. There were three important values that I saw as our guiding North Stars. Number one, be totally customer-centric. We were committed to partner with our customers and its end users to make the best products available. And when I say best, I mean the highest quality, the best design, the exacting engineering at the most competitive price. Number two, be innovative in everything we do. We work with alongside customers to solve tricky engineering, material, and design challenges. We shared ideas with them and experimented alongside them. Experimentation may occasionally lead to failure, and we had our failures for sure. But failure builds resistance. Number three, and probably most important, embrace long-term thinking. Year after year, we envisioned and consciously worked towards our future. Our viewpoint was and is that the most exciting time for this company is yet to come. All along the way, we intended to build a strong base that can handle market changes and shifts in our the industries that we serve, and the industries we want to serve. These three important ideals were the foundation for the company's growth and its opportunities through the years. They framed our expansion into Mexico 25 years ago now. It was because we followed our customers, we needed to be innovative with them and support them on a long-term basis, that we now have this wonderful facility, and manufacturing capabilities in Mexico. These three ideals were the basis of developing new and exciting capabilities that we now offer our customers in molding, in painting, and plating. They are the core beliefs around our excellence in tool design our outstanding track record on product and quality delivery and our world-class systems. Congratulations to the company and to its employees, its friends, and its partners that have been so instrumental in its success. I'm very excited about its future and can't wait to watch the start of the next 60 years.